In 60 seconds, the Supreme Court debates the case of a Colorado baker who refused to make a wedding cake for a same-sex couple, citing religious freedom as the reason. Today, both sides had a half hour to argue their case. Love. Win. They took much longer. The case could come down to Justice Anthony Kennedy's vote. His sharp questions targeted both sides, saying the state of Colorado, quote, has been neither tolerant nor respectful, unquote, of the Baker's religious beliefs. He also pointed out a problem with the Baker's argument, quote, it means there's basically an ability to boycott gay marriage. I think it's hard to know where Justice Kennedy is at. I was pleased to know, though, that the court is considering both sides of this issue and the dignity cuts both ways. Kennedy appears to be the swing vote, the four conservative minded judges all seem to side with the baker. Justice Samuel Alito pointed out the case started in 2012, a time when the same-sex couple wouldn't have been able to receive a marriage license either. The court's four more liberal justices appeared to line up against the baker. Justice Sonia Sotomayor saying, quote, there are sandwich artists now. We don't call it expressive and entitled to First Amendment protection. Denver 7's Washington correspondent Mike Sachs was in that courtroom for today's arguments. He's a constitutional law scholar, and tonight he gives us a unique perspective from inside the courtroom. The argument was set for an hour, but it went on 90 minutes. It was what we call a hot bench in the Supreme Court watcher community, meaning every justice, except for Clarence Thomas, who never really asked questions, was just peppering the advocates with questions. Uh, people were really watching Justice Kennedy, as I noted before, Justice Kennedy, is the key vote. He might, in this case, feel, as he seemed to indicate, that the cake baker was having his own religious rights infringed. So now it's a waiting game for everyone with an interest in this case. The justices will deliberate in private conference, and then we'll get a look at the opinions at the end of June. So make sure you stay with Denver 7 for continuing coverage on this case, even after the opinions come down. And you can get updates the moment that we do by downloading our free Denver 7 app.